Right. <sighs> All right, hello viewers of this video, and welcome back to the Redstone Innovation channel. Yes, we know it's been a long time since the last Redstone video, but we're going to make it up to you guys. We promise we have tons and tons and tons of stuff to record, uh, such as this thing today. Today we've got a virtually infinite storage and sorting system. Uh, and we're gonna demonstrate all of its features. It might take a while, so please sit back and relax and enjoy the show. Um, you got your standard sorting system kind of layout here. You got a crafting bench, an indicator light for when it's sorting. This is where you place all the items that you want to sort. Um, all the items go down into here, and as you'll see, if it's, com if it's completely full, you can still sort your stuff. You can place your items in here too, so uh, because this is full, obviously you can't place anything else, you just place it into here, if you so wish, and it'll sort everything uh, properly. Alright, so let's just go ahead and demonstrate its sorting capabilities. We have a couple of items that we can sort, and we can talk about its features as it's sorting. Let's just throw everything in here. Uh, now, the first feature I'd like to go over is this indicator light. Yep, it's pretty cool. It blinks on and off as the system is sorting, which is pretty awesome. And the system also uses droppers, but you obviously cannot hear them. The only time you can hear them is when it starts and when it stops, which we think is pretty cool. Uh, so let's just fast forward as it sorts. Alright, so it's done sorting now. As you heard, it had the nice click that we like so much. And just look in these chests, as you can see, um, there was already items in the chest, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, everything was sorted correctly, all of our miscellaneous items went there, and etc, etc, etc. Now what we mean by virtually infinite, well, just look at this. We got our full redstone chest, right? Uh, let's just grab a stack and look at that. Wow, the chest starts refilling itself because it has reserve storage in the back, which we think is pretty freaking awesome. Um, additionally, even when this is full, um, you can place your items in here and it'll start drawing them through, even if this chest is completely full. It isn't at the moment, but it will do so. Alright, so let's just go ahead and fly around the wiring. As you can see, it's very compact. Its logic circuit is only two wide, and the rest of it is one wide tileable. The extra storage for the infinite part is right here. Uh, as you can see, it's a one chest, it's a single chest, um, it's not infinite. However, you can switch those out for chest minecarts, and you can place lots of those into one block. That would indeed be infinite. Alright, in this tutorial I'll be going over how to build basically this exact thing. I'll go over how to sort um, any item you wish. Um, I'll go over how to expand this so you have even more different categories to sort. Um, I will not be going over how to make the storage infinite with the chest mine carts in the back. Um, however, just go ahead and let us know in the comments and we'll go ahead and do that. It's not that easy to explain, but we'll try our best. These are the materials you'll need for this build. You're going to need blocks, stairs, a crafting bench, a chest and a trap chest, redstone lamp, item frames, hoppers, droppers, uh, redstone, repeaters, comparators, and a redstone torch. So let's just grab our stuff and we can get started. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do in this tutorial is decide where you want your sorting system to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, base it off of that layout. I'm going to start with that crafting bench. So wherever you want the bottom left of your sorting system, just go ahead and place it right there. Uh, and then place your redstone lamp on top and then you're going to place uh, the chest that you place all the items you want to sort on top of that. Now actually before you do that you're going to decide whether you want the items to sort immediately after you place them in the chest or if you want them to sort after you close the chest which might be handy if you accidentally place items in. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, make it so the items will sort after you close the chest. Um, in that case you would choose a trap chest instead of a regular chest. If you use a regular chest items will start sorting immediately. And you're only going to place a single chest for now. Then what we're going to do is we're going to place those bottom chests there and that's going to be like this. You're going to place alternating trap chest and regular chest. Uh, this is going to be five long, so let's do that. And you're going to place double chests like that. Once you got that, then go ahead and place stairs uh, right here. This is where your item frame pictures will be, and it serves to cover everything up and make it look nice and tidy. Go ahead and place your 
item frames on here. We can decide what we want on them later, doesn't really matter. After you got that, then what we're going to do is we're going to place more chests on top of these stairs. Um, this is a trap chest, so you're going to place a regular chest. Uh, now, for now, you're only going to place single chests. Uh, we will expand them later after we place some of the wiring. So after you got that, then let's just go ahead and start with that wiring. So we're going to come around to the back, and we're going to place hoppers. You're going to shift click on this side of these chests so that the hoppers face into those bottom double chests. And you're just going to go down the line and do that for all of them, like so. Then what we're going to do is we're going to place uh, more chests. This is a reserve chest, and this is also where you'd place the chest mine carts if we were doing that, but we're not. So just go ahead and shift click your trap chest and regular chest on top. They do have to be alternating so they don't connect. Once you got these chests on top of the hoppers, then what you can do is you can come up here on top of these single chests you place up here and place more hoppers. You're going to shift click again. You're going to shift click again on the side of these chests here and make sure those hoppers are facing into those single chests there. Once you place those hoppers, then you can just go ahead and expand these into double chests. So let's just go ahead and do that like so. And yes, you're going to expand this last one as well. Once you've expanded those top chests to double chests, what we're going to do is we're going to come around to the back and then place hoppers. We're going to shift click on the sides of those double chests you placed on top that you just placed and make sure those hoppers are facing into those chests. And there we go. Once you place those hoppers, that's the hardest part out of the way. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the wiring. What we're going to do is we're going to build the one wide modular part. And you're going to start on this side, closest to the redstone lamp that you placed earlier. And we're going to build a plus coming off of this hopper here. So come up, come down to the side, cut out that middle block, and then place a block down there. Now I'm just going to expand these lines out, like so. And you're just going to ignore this last line right here. This is the line that's farthest away from the redstone lamp. Don't place any blocks there. Once you got that, then we're going to place our comparators facing away from the front, uh, right there. And then we're going to place repeaters down here, facing back towards the front. After you got those repeaters, then go ahead and place blocks behind them, and then place redstone on both of these blocks, like so. Then finally, we're going to place redstone torch on the sides of these blocks in here, like so. Now we're going to build the filter part of the uh, sorting system, which is what actually sorts the stuff. So we're going to come up on top of these double chests once again, and we're going to shift click more hoppers um, onto the sides of those comparators like this. So just shift click, click on the sides of those comparators. This is a bit tricky. You don't want them to face down like that. That's a big no-no. You're going to want them to face into the sides of those comparators like that. And then once you get to this last one, once again, this is the one without the wiring farthest away from the redstone lamp. We're going to place one facing, actually facing down. Then we're going to place our last row of hoppers. So just place another hopper on vertically on top of that other vertical one. And then place sideways hoppers uh, just leading into that one like that. So hopper leading into hopper, etc. into the last one. Next, we're going to place our droppers. So go ahead and get those ready. What we're going to do is we're going to place a block right there, and then we're going to shift, click, jump, and place three droppers uh, facing upwards like so. And then at the end, what we're going to do is we're going to take a hopper and shift click that into that line of hoppers right there. Uh, shift click a hopper onto that bottom dropper right there, so the items will come out of that, go into there, and head on up. The logic is really simple. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, take an output from this dropper here into a comparator and then into another comparator right there and then finally into a repeater right there. That repeater is going to have a block in front with redstone and we're just going to lead that redstone all the way over into that second comparator into a repeater with a block in front just get that redstone on top and then that block is going to be powering a repeater right there go ahead and play around with the timings on this repeater this is the repeater that powers this redstone lamp if it's on one or two this redstone lamp is going to be permanently on while it's sorting if it's on three or four the redstone lamp will blink as it sorts 
Alright, so we're almost done. What we're going to do now is decide what we want to sort. So let's get those items ready. Alright, so we got our items ready. Uh, remember that I am going to show you how to expand it uh, later if you want to sort more items. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to sort the same items that we sorted over there. Uh, right, so let's just go ahead and place our items in the item frames. This should be a no-brainer. You can't actually sort lava buckets because they s don't stack to 64, um, but that seems to be the general uh, symbol for miscellaneous items. So this row is going to be the diamond row. We want all of our diamonds that we place in here to sort into this chest down here. So we're going to come up here to this hopper right here. Uh, the second one down, not this top one, that's important, right here. Click on it, uh, right click and drag across these four slots here um, to place one item in each. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place 19, whoops, that's one too many. We're going to place 19 diamonds into this first hopper. Now it is going to go down to 18, don't worry, that's what it's supposed to do. So. So next we want to sort gold, and this is the gold row because we want our gold to sort into that chest right there. So we're going to come up here to the second hopper in the row because this is the second chest. We're going to click on it, and we're going to do the same exact thing. So we're just going to right click drag across those, um, place our four, and then we're going to place 19 into the first slot right there. That is going to go down to 18 once again, but once again, that's all fine. <laughs> we want our emeralds to sort right here, so we're just going to do the same exact thing. This should be getting pretty familiar to you guys. There you go. Then redstone. And then for the miscellaneous items, you don't actually need an item to place here because as you can see, everything that doesn't get sort into these categories here will just be dumped into this miscellaneous chest. So, uh, yeah. Now we can go ahead and try it out and see if everything works. Uh, I'm just going to place some items into this chest here. Um, yeah. Alright, so now we're just going to see if it works. Uh, I've placed all my items into the chest. Let's just go ahead and see uh, if it works. Our indicator light is blinking now. We heard the dropper click and we can sit back and watch it sort. Alright, it's done sorting. Let's just check these chests down here. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay, Max. <laughs> Yeah, it did sort successfully, but... <clears throat> Alright. So that's everything sorted. It worked perfectly, just as we intended. Alright, so at this point you're done. I'm just going to go over how to fill things in, and then I'm going to show you how to expand it. I'm going to expand it by three more items. Um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and fill this thing in. You're going to need stairs and blocks, whatever you want to fill this thing in with. And we're going to start over here, uh, placing blocks all the way around and placing our border. You're gonna have to make these transparent blocks on top otherwise your whole sorting system will break. Um, so just go ahead and place these along here and then place blocks on the other side. And that's it pretty much filled in. This is optional but if you want you can place half slabs on top of here. Let me just go ahead and do that real fast. So just place half slabs on the other half of these chests here. And there you go, that makes it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing on the top if you ever go up there. Now we're going to go over how to expand this thing. This should be pretty fun. So let's just go ahead and delete this whole last row. This is necessary because we are going to have to move the miscellaneous row all the way to the far right. So let's just go ahead and destroy all this. Alright, so I just went ahead and removed that last row. Uh, next we're going to expand it, as I said, by three more sorted items, and then we're going to add a fourth for our miscellaneous row that we just deleted. Uh, we're going to come here, and we're just going to alternate trap chest and regular chest once again. So, let's go ahead and do that. There's our three, and here's our fourth for the miscellaneous items. Go ahead and expand your stairs on top of these chests here like so 
and then we're going to add these chests on top of here remember these are only going to be single chests until we complete the rest we're going to place our hoppers facing into the sides of these double chests on the bottom here and we're going to alternate our trap chest and regular chest on top of those Oops. so like that we're going to come up on top of here and we're going to place our hoppers facing into the sides of those chests down there and then we can expand these chests here into double chests like so after expanding those into double chests we're going to add our hoppers facing into the sides of those double chests and then we're going to expand our wiring so just go ahead and add our blocks out remember you're going to ignore this last row right now and for the rest of it actually we're going to place our repeaters in here place blocks behind them a redstone on top and then lead that redstone going up after placing that redstone we're just going to come down here and place our torches here whoops not on there we're going to place our torches there and then we're going to come up here place our comparators there place them along there then we're going to place our hoppers facing into those comparators uh, right there not there once again on this last row we're just going to place a vertical hopper and then whoops a vertical hopper on top of that and then just extend this line going into this hopper over here like so once you got that then you're just going to decide what you want to sort so go ahead and place your item frames um, and I've decided we're going to sort sticks seeds and TNT so let's just decide we're going to place our seeds right there our TNT right there and our sticks there it really doesn't matter um, remember you can sort anything that's stackable up to 64 so just substitute any of the items um, for that stackable item once again this is gonna be our seeds row and this is where we want our seeds to be so let's just come up here and we're gonna come to this hopper here go ahead and right click drag and then we're gonna place our 19 seeds right there that's going to go down to 18 just as it did before exit on out this is the row that we want our TNT to be so we're just going to come up here go into this hopper here right click drag across these here and then place our 19 TNT right there uh, no no not right there and then finally, this is the row that we want our sticks to be in, so you're just going to grab your sticks, that's not dirty. We're going to come up here, and we're going to right click drag across here, and then we're going to place our 19 sticks into that first slot. Like so. Once you got that, you're actually done, so let's just go ahead and fill this thing in. We're going to grab our blocks, our stairs, and our half slabs, and we're just going to go around this thing. We're going to expand our stairs here going all the way across expand our half slabs here Oops. remember these half slabs are optional and then we're just going to expand these blocks up here and once you got that you should be done um, yeah that should be it for this tutorial um, remember that if you want us to show you how to place those chest minecarts instead of those single chests uh, go ahead and let us know in the comments Alright, this has been the Redstone Innovation channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, we thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to check out our past stuff, rate, comment, subscribe, and all the cool stuff, and we'll see you guys. Redstone.